Hey everyone, Dumb Vertical Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And today we got more reveals. Yay. Yeah. Just, just, just keep going away. I'm trying to... Okay. I don't want it to fall. <laughs> there. There we go. Anyway, carry on. So, uh, first we've got Dr. Lychee and Hachiak. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. We're on the movie, never got dubs, so we don't even... And Haki Yaki. Okay, so... Permanent, uh, you can only play back black belt cards and this card can't attack. Okay. Uh, also, when this belt card, when a bat card attacks, the player who attacks can't attack with tokens or belt cards with an edge cost of 7 or less other than the card they attacked with or duration of the turn. So they can only attack with one card a turn, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, active main once per turn, play top card of your deck under this card. Uh, yeah, okay, I read that right. Place the top card of your deck in your drop area and then draw one card. So, it's doing a bit of a margin thing. Uh, the Awaken is, if you only have black battle cards in your energy, choose three cards and discard and place them in the drop. You draw a card and flip them over. So, kind of sucks for Awakening. Uh, so we've got Hatchet, Malice, Assimilated. Mm, no, because it needs to be in the draw. So you put a three back into the deck to do effects. Oh, okay. Right. I don't entirely remember. Or, like I've been looking at everything, so mostly the green. Yeah, it'll, right. it'll, it'll make sense. <laughs> yeah. So, permanent, you can only play black battle cards. Uh, also, when the battle cards attacks, the player who attacked can't attack with tokens or battle cards, but then it costs seven or less. Other than the card they attacked with for So the turn. same auto. Yeah. Uh, secondly, also is when this card attacks, it gains 5,000 power for duration of turn and you draw a card. That's Should... pretty good. Yeah. So the unawakened side, you really need to get into this as quickly as possible, but it's. Uh, if you got, what is it? You have black Three card. cards underneath him. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with energy, is it? No. So yeah, it's easily done. You can awaken pretty quickly. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So it goes on to the SR. So I'm not even gonna try. Uh, fueled by hatred. <laughs> so it's a. It costs five, twenty-five k power. Dual attack permanent. If your leader card is black, machine mutant uh, is a black machine mutant card. Increase the energy cost of this card by three. Right. Now, this is where it's it, it's getting a bit confusing for people. When you want to play this card, it is five, not eight. Okay, it it makes sense. Trust me. The permanent is not an effect in your hand. Okay, you can pay five to bring this out. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't say in hand and uh, battle area. It just says generally a permanent applies when it's in the battle area, not in hand. So, unless specified. Yeah, unless specified. So, that is why it's a 5, and when it's in play, it's 8, so then it triggers your other effects. Yeah, it gets around your leaves effect, so it can attack twice. And then you can attack with something else. Because the leader's... 7 or less. Yeah, that'll be an 8. Yeah, it will be an 8, yeah. So, it gets around it. Yeah. Hence why it's got dual attack. So it's five in hand, you pay five to play it, goes up to eight, gets around a leader, can attack twice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's other effect, auto, place this card in its owner's drop area, when your opponent's battle card attacks, uh, battle card attacks, negate that attack. Okay, so he's a built-in negate, which is cool. Uh, I will say, I'm sorry if I sounded really, like, what's the word? Condescending. Thank you. In it for the permanent, <laughs> just wanted to get the clarification there. Um, so, activate me once per turn. Choose three battle cards with energy costs between three and seven in your drop area and place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and send it to his owner's warp. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's really good because you got a built in the gate. And you can also, so you can swing of him, swing of him, do his activate main, and then built in the gate for next turn, unless you want to keep him around. Yeah, built in the gate if necessary. Yeah. So we got 
Hank Jack, overwhelming power. It's a 4 cost of 15k. It has two active mains. So the first one is, if your leader is a Black Machine Mutant card, and you choose three Black Battle cards with range cost of between 3 and 7 in your drop, and place them at the bottom of your deck in any order, you can play this from hand. Which is pretty good. Uh, the second active main is you pay 4 energy. Your lead, if It's probably meant to say if your leader, not your leader is a Black Machine Mutant card. Um, choose one Hatchet Field by Hatred in your drop area, and play it on top of this card. Oh, so you just get that back. That's pretty good. Yeah. Means you don't need more than five energy in the deck as well. Really. Well, the fact that you you can play this for free and then pay the four. Yeah. That's so. what I mean. Like, you don't really need more than five because next turn you just do all that. Yeah. Obviously, you'll probably charge up to five or six just so you can have, have some open energy for yeah things just in case you need them. But you never know. Uh, this one's me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got Dr. Leechy, Leech High, whatever you want to, I don't know. Uh, Inception of the Grudge. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's a one drop, 4K, it's a blocker, and when it's KO'd, you choose onto one Ghost Warrior card in your hand and you play it. Um, so, yeah, just... Block and play a card. <laughs> yeah, block and play a card. <laughs> Pretty and, good. And because he's only got an energy cost of one, he doesn't apply to your other skills of like you gotta choose three with energy cost obviously three or three to seven. Yeah. So when he's gone he's gone. <laughs> Unless you got power burst. In which case you can get him back. Yeah, I think he'd run power burst just to get him back. Cause you just keep blocking with him playing cards for free. Yeah. Not that they don't play themselves for free anyway. Yeah, but So we got Doctor Li Chi, the departed spirit. So three drop ten K power. Again, it has Blocker. Uh, its auto is, when you play this card, place two cards from the top of your deck into the drop. And then out of main, you pay two. If your leader is a Black Machine Mutant, you can play this from your drop area. It's and, good. Yeah, and it's a Ghost Warrior, so you can chain it with the other one just before. Well, the thing is, you don't have to pay three to bring it out. You just combo with it. Pay two, bring it out, do its auto. Yeah. Or like, because like the Ghost Warrior, you can do... The first blocker, play him out. Yep. There's multiple. Mill two, drop, block again. It's good. Mm. It's good. <clears throat> Alright, this one's me in it. Mm-hmm. So you got Freezer Ghost Warrior. Yeah, so it's four cost, uh, 15k power. Activate main. If you leave. Alright, I'm, I'm only going to read this once, by the way, guys, because they basically all have exactly the same effect. So, activate main. If your leader card is a black machine mutant card and you choose three black. Uh, card, three black battle cards. Sorry, with energy cost between three and seven in your drop area. Place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Play this card from your hand. They all basically do that. At least Ghost Warriors. Okay. Um, activate main. Place this card in its owner's drop area. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and switch it to rest mode. Not bad. So we got cooler Ghost Warrior. See so four drop fifteen k. Uh, his first active main is the same as Freezer, and this time he has an active battle. So you place this card in the center's drop area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 10,000 power for duration of turn. It's pretty good. Yeah. So now we got Lord Slug Ghost Warrior, exactly the same stats, 4, 15. Um, yeah. Activate main, place this card in the center's drop area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost greater than or equal to your opponent's energy and send it to the owner's warp. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of wish it ignored barrier. It's... Uh, I know why, it's because it can get rid of anything that's equal to the energy, but I still feel like it should get around barrier. Just playing that out there. <laughs> I think it doesn't get around barrier because essentially it's a free play removal that could remove anything. If that was the case, because you can either do the skill to play him out. Yeah, uh, it's but it's, it's a rest mode. Yeah, and then this one minus is only by ten k, and then that's just yeah. free spot removal. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, if slug was free spot removal, that was anything on the board, so long as your opponent has enough energy to play it out. Hey, <laughs> be fine. Anyway. So we've got Turles, Ghost Warrior. Uh, again, 4 with 15. First active main is the same as the others. 
Your second active main is you place this in its owner's drop, choose up to one battle card in your opponent's drop here and send it to their warp. That's handy. Yeah. Good. Good. Right, so yes I mean it, yeah. Good. So it's Ghost Warriors, cost one, four K. Um right, so when you play it you draw a card, and then for the duration of the game it's exactly the same as the peel off, where if your opponent wants to put energy into active mode without um Awakening, so they're using a the skill of a battle card or an extra card, they gotta choose five cards from their drop and send them to their warp. Boom. Hmm. So Black now has their one. So everybody has one. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Defender God Guard on. So this is the uh so it's ten cost well, it's a super combo. I don't know why I was backing up on that. But basically for life's at four less you combo draw a card. And he has the 10k regardless. Yeah. Uh, so we got Defender Kawazu. Yeah. Uh, so three cards, 5k, permanent. If your leader card is black, well, is a black machine mutant card, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. So it becomes a one drop instead of a three drop. Activate main, burst one. So you mill the top card of your deck, place this card in the owner's drop area, and draw a card. Now, you can recycle this because it costs three. Mm -hmm. uh, you're putting stuff into your drop to recycle more and let's draw a card hmm. and it only costs one to do it which is pretty good pretty good card pretty good card for the deck ok so we're on to the extra cards now so the first one is distortion gas or destron gas yeah that's probably more accurate anyway so pay one active battle if you leave the card it's a gacha card it gets plus 10,000 power for duration of battle. So it's only when it's awakened, I think. Uh, or does it apply to both sides? I can't remember. I will double check this before we go. Carry on. Yeah. I think it applies to both because it has both names in the character. Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to. Uh, yes, it applies to both sides. Dr. Ayaji and. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. Just wanted to get the clarification on that, because in some instances it can be um, where that is not the case. It'll only apply to the one side. Yeah. Cooler, for example. I think they learned a mistake from that one, didn't they? Yeah, the master cooler card. Yeah, that's probably why they've done that. <laughs> anyway, carry on. So, yeah. uh, so if your leader is the leader for the deck, basically, uh, gains 10,000 power for duration of battle, then choose all of your approach back cards from each cost of one and place them near their owner's drop areas. So, not too bad. No, it's not. Um, Alright, so we got the Dark Planet. <laughs> one cast field. Auto. When this card is placed in a battle area, choose up to one Ghost Warrior card in your deck, add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Alright, that's pretty good. If your lead a card is a Black Machine Mutant card, at the end of your turn, place two cards on top of your deck in your drop area. Also good. Yeah. It's a shame it's at the end of the turn. Well, I think if it was during, like you can't, you can do enough during the turn. Plus, like it sets you up for next turn. Yeah, I know. I'd prefer it to be an activate main, though. Yeah. Just because then you can do more in a turn. <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Uh, so next we've got ultimate blow. It's a one cost counterplay. Uh, choose from of your battle cards and it gains ten thousand power and revenge for duration of the turn. That's okay. Well, yeah, because revenge is defensive now, not offensive. Yeah. So, it's fine. You just play it on the block, and then you play a card up through. <laughs> yeah, you basically just do King for Jesus surprise attack on a blocker. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is fine, because you've got a one-cost blocker in that deck. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next card is Super Kamehameha. Uh, one-cost... Can't play if your leader card is black and your life is at four or less. If the battle card being played has an energy cost of three or less, it is sent to you on his warp instead of being played. And it has the same permanent as the other ones where you can just take a life instead, basically. Oh. During its energy cost. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the black cards. Uh, we're just going to go over these two quickly because uh, we got a. Another one to do on green, 
blue and green, which is going to take a while, so... This one hasn't been too bad for us. <laughs> eh. So, anyway, we've got Reddit's Arrival of the Invader. So, say, uh, red, green, four costs, one of each colour. He has 20k power. He has energy exhaust, obviously. Uh, permanent, if you have a red, green, multicolour card in your energy, reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one. Oh, hand and battle layer by one. Okay, so, but you only gain 5k. So, it's not like a free 10k combo. It's also is when you play this card, your opponent reveals their hand, then you choose one of their battle cards with 35 or less power, sent to the nearest warp, and this gains critical for duration of turn. Ugh. Not bad. Not bad. Four cards, I'll swing for 20 crit, and take a card out of your hand. Why not? Um, okay, so the last one, then we got Sun, it is definitely the last one, it is definitely the last one, it is definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so, we got Sun, Goku, Energy, Salvo. So it's a free cost, uh, one green, one red, 15k, Energy Exhaust, Pernament, you can only have one of these in your battle area. And if they battle, if you have a red slash green multicolor card in your energy, choose one red, choose one of, yeah, one of your red or green battle cards with energy cost of three or less, place them in the owner's drop area. Play this card from your ha from your hand in rest mode. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of one and KO it. Eh. Mm. Eh. Seems a bit eh to me, but you know, what, what do I know? <laughs> um. Yeah, the black cards are looking really good. Yeah. My uh, overall opinion, I do like the design on it. They've done very well with it. It does seem like it could be quite a fun deck. <laughs> so, ugh. Right, there we go. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Because some of these are a bit interesting. And like the Yachak deck seems quite fun. Oh yeah, it does. So uh, yeah, someone's little wish came true. <laughs> well, I was hoping a deck would be alright once you got the rest or saw a lot of the support and it's like yeah it's turned out alright yeah so still doing baby <laughs> so yeah as always uh, thank you for watching uh, do check out our next video it's probably going to be a bit longer than this one but it's all the blue and green stuff so <coughs> it's going to be quite interesting what the deck will do <coughs> and yeah bye 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 oh god I can't